it up. All right, that's cool. Let's just uh, let everyone come on in. Instagram live, new time. Oh, my computer screen up here, it's like, it's lighting my face. <laughs> All right. There well, we didn't do this last week, so and it's a new, new day, new time. First question is, you sent two guitars. Oh, someone did. Presume we're doing the long. Oh no! It still says we're telling your followers that you're live. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. I would say we'll just wait. They're really similar. Oh, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining our Instagram Live. We'll wait for a few more people to jump on in here. Um, if you have questions, make sure you send them through. We also have a special promo that we'll be running today. So if you guys book a kickoff meeting, Today, before we finish this live Q&A, we'll do it for $50. Wow, that's normally $200. So if you're looking for a kickoff meeting, if you book it in this Instagram Live, we'll do it for $50. Is there a link to the Instagram Live? I don't know. All right. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We have a uh, new time, new day. <laughs> um, we'll start diving into questions. If you guys have any questions throughout this Instagram Live, send them through. Emily and I will, will answer them if this is your first time. I'm Nicole. I'm Emily. We're the first people you talk to. More often than not. The coolest Unless people. that's your mom. <laughs> True. <laughs> All right, let's uh, dive right in. So, Emily, how much is it to get started? Um... Dollars and cents, more cents. Like you've got to have a lot of common sense is what it takes to get started, but it depends on your project. Obviously our initial like development kickoff meeting is $197, uh, but depending on the entire scope of your project uh, will determine the cost of your project. Um, you know, if, you, if we're sourcing an in-stock fabric versus like something custom dyed, printed, all that sort of stuff, all these things affect the cost and we also take your budget into consideration as well and we'll advise based on that yeah definitely plus you know it's different costs for production and development so it's a hard question to answer with such vague parameters i'm just gonna let the facebook group know too all right cool um so what is your moq for development, our MOQ is three um, different styles, and then for production, it's 300 units per style. We can typically break that up into three different colors, um, with the exception of sometimes we run into fabric minimums with like things like underwear or swimsuits. Um, but typically, it's three different colors. We can break that into different sizes as well. Um, perfect. What other questions do we have here? So I have some questions that okay. we get asked a um, lot from people cool. starting out uh, that we kind of want to address so, here um, because it sounds sometimes quite rude so we when we write these things down. Um, one question is, why do I need to have a budget? Um, do you want to feel this one or shall I? I think you should. Okay. <laughs> if you are a business or if you are anyone trying to make any kind of money, uh, you need to figure out how to do that and have a budget. Plan out, regardless of whether, if you don't know how to do it, there's a lot of like information out in the world. If you don't know how much things cost, there's a lot of information out on the internet uh, about those sorts of things. But regardless of how much things cost, there is still only, there's always going to be a set amount of money that you are either prepared to spend or are able to spend before getting started in this industry or any other industry. Now you need to understand what that number is and where you're going to allocate that. And so it's really, really important that you come to us like understanding what those numbers are because we can't help you if we don't know what your budget is. Mm -hmm. If we have no idea what your budget is, we have no idea where your products stand. And so in your mind, you could be thinking, oh, I'm going to make a $7 t-shirt. 
but if you're producing at minimums, that's just not going to happen. So if you don't have that figured out early, you are digging yourself a hole and setting yourself up for failure. Definitely. We're going to jump back in. A few uh, people have joined. If you guys book a development meeting online with us um, during the time of this Instagram Live, we will do it for $50 instead of our typical price of $197. Mm -hmm. So just wanted to throw that in there. How do they do that too? Because is that sorted out on the website? It should be sorted out on the website or you can DM us. Yeah, if you hit us on a DM, yeah, slide into our DMs and <laughs> um, we will book it after the thing, but we know that you've already done it. We'll trust you one time. <laughs> Perfect. What other questions do we have? Um, do you guys offer any type of financial assistance for potential clients? Yes and no. Like, you've got to have some serious uh, backing and collateral. Um, for us to jump in on that. I would say a good 99% of the time, that's going to be a no. But there are, I mean, there are companies out there that invest in brands um, that you can get loans on that aren't necessarily from the bank. Um, so, I mean, the information's out there. You've just kind of got to figure it out. Definitely. Um, a question that I get asked every day, and I'm assuming you do as well, is do you guys yeah. make kids wear, athletic wear, so, swimwear? I mean, if we I wear it, we make it. Uh, um, we have such a diverse range of clients from babies and underwear and athletics and men's and women's contemporary. Um, they all essentially follow the same process. Yeah. Eliminate the variables, figure out how it's made, and make it. And so like sometimes on children's clothes, we're just making tiny versions of what we normally make. Um, we don't do denim or leather. But other than that, Bob's your uncle. Ooh, I learned actually that's not a thing Americans say, so <laughs> everything's okay. <laughs> um, all right, how do you figure out your budget what your budget should be if you really don't know where to start. Do you help yeah, with yeah. that in the kickoff meeting? Um, you should come to the kickoff meeting with that already figured out. Um, if you don't know where to start, <laughs> there's still sure. a, a dollar amount that you have, whether you are personally investing or getting from someone else. Um, okay. well, cool. Think about how much money do you want to make. Like, what are your goals over the next 12 months to two, three years? And like, like financially, how much money do you want to make, right? And then take like, how much are you prepared to spend to get yourself there? Yeah, definitely. And that's a great place to start. Um, I think we can both answer this question. So what is one piece of advice you would give to people when starting out? You wanna feel this one? I think we'll both have probably different answers to this question, um, but for me, I think you really need to understand your business model and plan and your marketing plan. Like once we're done with development and production and we have all of your garments, you need to have more marketing ideas than starting an Instagram because you're still gonna essentially start mm. um, with no followers yeah. right like you need to have some type of like budget for marketing an idea of who you're targeting again that's a huge thing who is your customer um, if you don't have that answered before you've started development you've already failed like if you don't know who you're designing for or who you're developing for we have a big issue and there's yeah. a big weakling and she's right like you need to already have started your Instagram or whatever it else while you're developing and be putting a minimum of 15% of your potential revenue into your marketing budget. That's really, really important. There is so, like, we have seen so many amazing brands with great products fail because they spend all of their money on product and none of their money on marketing. Look, we can take all your money and make all your stuff as much as you want, but if you just like take out one or two styles and spend that money on marketing and like proving your concept, it's like one of the most important things that you can do. Like we've all seen brands out there and companies out there make really average products, but are doing incredibly well because their marketing is on point. Okay. 
All right, so we got asked, what if we want to use specific hardware on our clothes that you guys do not carry? We actually don't carry any hardware, um, but we will source it for you. So if you have like a particular button or a particular zipper or whatever those things are, if you give us like pictures or samples or whatever that is, then we're going to source it for you. Um, we don't hold an inventory of any fabric or trim. Yes. So as long as you tell us what we what you want, we can go and look for it for you. All right. This question is, what is the average price range when getting a pattern made, cut and sewn? Um, that way I know how to budget. It's a tough, tough. question to answer. I think think about it as if I could give you one number but that one number needs to cover every type of clothing that we make so if I say it's two thousand dollars the person like or if I say it's one thousand dollars whatever that number is the person making a t-shirt is getting ripped off and the person making a pea coat with like lining buttons zippers 50 million different pattern pieces we're gonna lose money on that so we need to know what you're making. You know, there's there's always an, we can make up an average that brands spend, but it's 100% dependent on you. Athletic brands will come to us and say, hey, I wanna do a full length legging and I wanna do a capri. Now, I'm not gonna charge sourcing on both pairs of leggings because it's the same fabric. And I'm also not gonna charge four hours of patterns on each one when all I'm doing on the second one is cutting off some length. So tell us what you're looking for and we can help build you out a quote. But okay. if like, if you don't have a minimum of like 20, 30K to get started, then that's kind of a place that we would start. But it's also hard to give out those numbers. Mm -hmm. That uh, brings us to us giving the plug. If you book a development meeting in this Q&A, you get it for $50 today rather than 197. Yeah, slide into our DMs. Hit us up before this Q&A is over and we'll book you a meeting for 50 bucks instead of 197. It'll be a great time and you will get a lot of information to help you get your brand started. Mm -hmm. We're super helpful people. <laughs> we'll try to be. We're savage. Oh, that's the one that I oh, just no, wrote We already down. answered that one. Okay, cool. I'm blind even with my glasses on. <laughs> um, another question I get asked quite frequently is, do I have to live in LA to work with you guys? Never. Nope. No. Absolutely not. We have brands out of state and internationally. We haven't met a significant amount of brands. You're always more than welcome to come to the office. Um, we love having visitors. Um, if you would come bearing tacos, I'll give you a 5% <laughs> discount off your production. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. But yes, we're FaceTime aficionados. FaceTime, Google Hangouts, we're not we're not tied to any one brand. True that. Skype, we we got it all. Hang okay. on, Ruby, do you need to get into your Yeah, come on then. Okay. Amazing psychic Ruby needs well, Don't knock it over. I believe in you. <laughs> what else have we got? Cool. So this is a vague question, but how many edits are allowed? As many as you want. You're paying for them. We try and Keep it around two. Two to four. Two to four. It again, it depends on the complexity. It's some industry standard for rounds, if you will, or fittings and samples and edits and that sort of deal. Somewhere between five and six. We want to keep it between two and four because we think it's important for you to have some kind of speed to market. Um, but at the same time, dude, the old designers are picky and finicky and like to change your mind. And I've definitely seen uh, a somewhat unnecessary amount of fittings just to change some artwork placement on a t-shirt. Yeah. So decide what's important to you and we can go from there. All right. I think you and I both get asked this frequently as well. What fabrics do you guys have in stock? Zero, we have zero fabrics in stock. So yeah, we don't actually stock fabric here. The reason being is we work with so many different brands that are using so many different materials that we want to find what you're looking for exactly and make sure it's going to be what you love, not something you settle for. 
So that's why we work with you and do all of your material sourcing. We have about, I don't know, 80 different vendors in LA that we work from. Um, some being all made in the US, some being imports from overseas um, to find you that material that is exactly what you want mm. and love in the price range that you have allotted mm. for. Obviously, there's a little bit of give and take there. Um, you are trying to make an organic, eco-friendly t-shirt and you're trying to make 300 units and you want to do it for five dollars. Um, I'm gonna give you a sleeping pill and tell you that you're dreaming because uh, um, that's just not gonna happen. Uh, so there are certain considerations to make uh, but we are here to guide you and assist you in those efforts. Um, the other thing is Oh wow, we need to scroll Sorry up. guys. <laughs> there are a lot of questions coming in that we did not see. Um, the other thing is don't be afraid of fabrics coming overseas. There are there are a lot of really cool like materials, both fabric and trim that come in from overseas that sometimes just have to come. Like Pima Cotton, like kinda just has to come from Peru. And there are some like trims and stuff that have to come from China because the machines just don't exist here. Um, we are really careful to make sure that we're sourcing ethically and sustainably as best that we can. Um, and if those things are really important to you on that level, please let us know, because it's important to us. Mm -hmm. We got a shout out from Valeska. We're excited to get your product to you. Cute kids wear wine. Look out for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, perfect. Let's see here. What's another question that we got asked? How important is it for you to meet deadlines? It's really important for us to meet deadlines. Um, there, <laughs> development's hard, right? So we will set deadlines, we will set goals, but when you are reliant on so many different variables, it's, it's just not always possible. We wanna make sure we hit it as often as we can but we're, we're generally never gonna promise you a, a deadline in development. Um, Production-wise though, like, I mean, we hit that the majority of the time, and if there's an issue, then we'll tell you. Very transparent about that. Okay, let's see here. Why am I paying so much for a sample? So much compared to what, though? So people ask us like, why is this so expensive? And like, is it expensive or does it just cost more than like what you would pay in a store for a t-shirt? And the reason is because you, when you buy a t-shirt in a store that's from a, or when you pay for a t-shirt for production, you're paying for an assembly line. Uh, and the best way that I can compare it to is when you buy a Honda Civic for what, $25,000, you're paying $25,000. Did that first Honda Civic that they prototype cost $25,000 to make? Absolutely not. It cost millions of dollars to figure out how to make this a $25,000 car. So while we are developing and testing and dotting our I's and crossing our T's, it is so important that we know that all the information is there. It's incredibly important that we pay like a great sample maker like what they're worth because you get what you pay for so that while they go through the pattern card and make sure that all the cut pieces are there all the sewing instructions are there like all the pattern placement for artwork and everything is there because your sewer in production doesn't care they're in an assembly line you have one person sewing this seam you have one person doing sleeves one person doing buttons and they're just doing what is in front of them and not going out of their way so in development it's important that we take that time and go out of our way to make sure all that information is there so that that extra two three four hundred dollars that you spend in development is not ten thousand dollars wasted in production yes um sorry <laughs> i was in the middle of a fast in the middle of a deep thought okay um, okay so if i wanted to include shoes or bags into my clothing line is that something your company can do no no. no, unless it's like a soft no, canvas okay. tote bag, then we can do it. Yeah. But if it's something like a crazy leather duffel briefcase, no. There are companies out there that do it. When you get into bags and, and shoes and stuff that's pretty heavily constructed like that, um, yeah, it's just not what we do. There are some companies out there, quite a lot smaller, 
Um, we're not really very familiar with that world at all. Yeah. Um, That's the other thing. If we don't know how to do something, we're going to tell you and not try and fake our way around it. There are, generally, there are a lot of resources out there that will help you with... I think makersroad.com is one pretty good place. Yeah. Um, it's just like a network of different brands and manufacturers all in one place, kind of like looking to get things done. Um, I think, yeah, to throw on top of that, we also don't make hats, like dad hats, baseball caps. I'm sorry, what's a dad hat? It's a, a dad hat. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like this a baseball a cap. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, so we don't do that either. Um, we would recommend you California custom caps if that's something that you're looking at. I get asked yeah. that frequently. Mm -hmm. We make cats. The answer is no. Um, do you want to pull up one of your questions? Yeah, sure. And then, of course, if you guys have questions, send them through. Um, we'll probably be wrapping up in about five minutes or so. The offer still stands. If you send us a DM booking this meeting um, by the end of this Instagram Live, we'll do it for $50 today. Mm. We often get asked if we can quote people from uh, a photo or a drawing. And the majority of the time, unless you have an extremely detailed tech pack with sign instructions, uh, the answer is absolutely not. Um, while photos and drawings are great to give us what we need like aesthetically or like kind of what you want part of the exterior to look like as a finished product, they don't actually give us any technical information. So um, we need samples from you. Um, send them on in, we'll send them right back. We get sent so many samples every single day, it loads up our office, so more than happy to send back your samples. <laughs> um, um, we need we want as much information as possible to make sure we're delivering like if someone just gives us a picture like we don't get the full picture of what you're actually looking for so there are just too many variables in there and you're not going to be happy with like the the end product so we want to like achieve it's your brand we want to make it yours mm -hmm. we just got a question i'm interested in starting a line but it's hospital gowns do you all do that yeah easy let's do it We've done um, Fit Scrubs is a, a really great brand that we work that we work with. Uh, Clinic Shield, uh, Rod Carew, um, he's actually really cool. They do um, he's an old baseball player, and it's like undergarments for people who um, have like permanent like heart issues or constantly have to like drag around medical equipment. So instead of having that pole that they have to drag around, they can put it into this undershirt that holds everything um, without having to have that big bulky ass pole following them around everywhere so um definitely a possibility if you're trying to do hospital gowns though that are disposable um or on the really cheapest side of things you're gonna have a lot of trouble because Ch china just do it by the tens of thousands so so cheap and we're just not gonna be able to beat them on that price um all right i have a simple design can it be cheaper uh yeah, um, no, um, we'll quote you based on the work that's involved. And so sometimes people, just because it is a simple design doesn't mean there still isn't, you know, people give us a t-shirt and yes, we've done it hundreds of times, but it's your t-shirt that you want specifically to your specifications. So we still have to start from scratch. There's still that work involved in development and that cost will spread out over time and you will see a return on that investment, um, but you still need to make that investment. Unless you wanna go with that private label line, in which case we have a full catalog of stuff. Uh, and once again, slide into our DMs. Uh, the gowns are the same fabric as scrubs. Yes, we can make them. Yeah. Easy, let's do it. Um, okay, do you have any other questions? No. Cool. Yeah, no. If anyone has any questions, let us know. Also, again, slide into our DMs. That is the weirdest exchange that happened in 2018, and I don't understand that one at all. Well, um, slide, in. slide into your DMs. It goes down in the DMs, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, cool. If anyone has anything else, let us know, and we're good to go. Unless you have anything else. I don't think so.
gravy train. Thank you so much for coming through, guys. Uh, we'll look out if you have anything else, and if anyone has um, hit us up about that development meeting, which you 100% should have, um, and we'll get back to you shortly. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, you guys. How do I end this? Right here. Oh. I'm a grandma. <laughs>